Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Blessed Star D Ministries Moments of Inspiration. I am Reverend Carla LaPlan, and I'm so excited that you're here to join us on today. We're excited that you came. You stopped by. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you visit our website at www.blessed.com the letter R T H E E ministry dot com. So if you're ready, let's get your Bible, your coffee, your tea, your water, and let's get started. So today we're going to come from first Chronicles 23 verses 28 through 30, but we're going to focus on verse 30. The duty of the Levites was to help Aaron's descendants on the service of the temple of the Lord, to be in charge of the courtyards, the side rooms, the purification of all sacred things, and the performance of all other duties at the house of God. They were in charge of the bread set out on the table and special flour for the grain offerings, the thin loaves made without yeast, baking and the mixing and all the measurements of the quantity and size. Here is our focus verse. They were also to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord. They were to do the same thing in the evening. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. So tonight, or today, or whenever this afternoon, um, we're going to talk about a day in the life of. One of the commands of God, when we look at First Chronicles 23 and the verse 30, it lays out the day in the life of the son of Levi. In verse 30, it says, You should start with thanksgiving and praise, and you should end with thanksgiving and praise. Then in there, we see the word also. And when we see that word also, this is not an option. It's a command. It's a part of what you were initially supposed to do. So if you recall our verses, they were to do the showbread, they were to use the particular flower, God is giving them all instructions. And then it says, and also you are to give praise and thanks in the morning, and you should do the same in the evening. This command, again, was in addition to their previous duties. So when we look at a day in the life of, let's think about um, uh, a famous actor, a famous person, you know, when they say a day in the life of, you know, so we'll think maybe a day in the life of Will Smith or a day in the life of Gary Sinise, a day in the life of Soup Dog or a day in the life in Kevin Bacon. You know, what you want is You know, we look at what they have done, not what they're doing, but what they have done. And that's what we do when we look, we get this uh, rear view type of perspective of where they have been, not where they're going, but where they're been. And that's where our, our interest is because, you know, where they have been gives us a good, uh, sense of who they are. And, and what is important to them in their life, right? So if God hit the replay button on your life just for yesterday morning, would it show that you got up with praise on your tongue and thanksgiving on your heart because God kept you through the night? Or would he see that you lifted up your eyes unto the hills from which cometh your help? And you know where your help comes from, from God, right? 
because God protected you from the spiritual wars of evil that we can't see, well, not even when we're awake nor when we're asleep. Or will the record show that you worshiped and gave God glory? Amen. Why? Because in your your heart, your heart didn't miss, miss a beat overnight. Your lungs, they, they kept expanding and collapsing all night as you rested like a metronome, just in, in perfect rhythm, right? Would, you, would that record show that you gave God glory and worship? Or would God see that you thanked him and told him, I love you because Psalms 100 says that God, you know, God wants to see you serve him um, with gladness, uh, come into his presence with singing, or God wants to see you seeking his face every morning and every night. You know, God wants to see you uh, being a part of uh, his branch. He wants. He he. It, you. He wants to see you as the branch because he is the vine, and you are um, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. You are bringing others to salvation. Will God see that you thanked him and told him how much you loved him and showed him that you are praying, you are seeking, you are lifting, you are serving? Would the records show that? What if we hit the replay button on your life just for yesterday evening? Would it show that you overlooked an opportunity to share the good news because you were in a hurry? You didn't have time to stop and take that one moment to share the gospel of Jesus Christ or Tell someone who what gave you joy. You, you just had to get to where you were going and didn't have time. Or would the replay show how you told someone, you know what? I'm going to pray for you. They have poured their heart out to you and told you about their circumstance or their situation. And you said, I'm going to pray for you. And even though you said that 15 minutes later, you couldn't remember who that, who it was that said it, what they needed, or, or, or how you were going to pray for them, you, you, because you couldn't remember. You were not in that same space with them. You were not present in mind when, when they were pouring their heart out to you. I'm guilty. I used to do it. I I try very, very hard not to any now because when someone will ask me to pray for him, I said, can we pray now? <laughs> you know, can we pray now? Or I'm praying on my way, you know, walking away because I don't want to forget. But sometimes we get so wrapped up. We're so busy doing our own thing. What about Will you even show God how quickly you rushed home so you could watch a game, maybe go to the mall, pick up that certain something you saw online that's only in the store now. Maybe you just wanted to sit and it was 7 o'clock. It's time for your favorite show and you don't want to read the show. My show is coming on. My show is coming on. <laughs> Maybe you just couldn't wait to get home and post and see how many people liked your Facebook post. Or maybe even you just wanted to go out and have, you know, dinner with friends. Um, whatever the case may be. <laughs> Did you think about God? Well, so maybe. Just maybe yesterday wasn't the day 
in your life that you want the Lord to replay. Maybe you'll consider today to be your yesterday as you make today count for God. Amen. Or so maybe God will be gracious enough to give you a new day tomorrow to record. Amen. So remember the assignment of the sons of Levi. They were also to stand every morning and thank God and praise the Lord. And they were to do the same in the evening. This, what will the day in your life look like if God were to replay it? Right now, what would, would you want God to see that specific day? I encourage you to make every day a record just as if God were going to replay it because he sees it. He does see it. But you want to make it count. If God is to go back to your tomorrow today, you want to say, yes, God, replay it. I, we talked in the morning, we talked in the evening, I invited somebody to church, I went to, you know, serve uh, in the community, I, you know, yes, and I thank you, I thank you, Jesus, for this day. Make today count. If your name, you know, no matter what your name is, you say, this is the day in the life of whatever your name is. And then make it count for God. Each day is a blessing. Each day is a gift that we receive from God. Let's show God how much we appreciate it. Amen. I was excited about this lesson. So excited, so excited. But right now, this is the most important part of this session. And that is for me to invite you into the family of God. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Amen. You will be saved. And it only takes you confessing with your mouth, just saying it, saying it, putting it in the atmosphere. And, and then believing it in your heart, knowing that you know what you know. And if you believe it, if you're not sure, if you want to recommit, then now is the time to do it. Just repeat this simple prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I believe that you are the son of God who died on the cross just for me. Lord, change my life. Guide me every day. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. I'm so proud of you. If you repeated that prayer. And I, Reverend Colin, want to be the first one from Blessed RD Ministry, Moments of Inspiration, to welcome you into the family of God. The angels in heaven are rejoicing because you committed. I want you to know that your salvation is set. No one can take that away from you. God bless you and God keep you. Amen. I'm so excited for you. So we are happy that you were able to join us this evening. Be sure to remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, bring others, especially if you are a better and woman there. Be sure to visit our website at blessedbyministry.com. Fill out the um, form that's there so that we can be found and get, touch, get in touch with you. All right? So we're excited. We look forward to our next moment of inspiration. God bless you. God keep you. See you soon.